In this video, we're going to go over how to study for a chemistry midterm. You think, do I even have to study? The answer is, you sure do. Probably already know chemistry is not easy, but all of a sudden you're going to have a big chunk of information that you are going to have to know and answer the questions correctly. Before we get started, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, NY Chem Coach, please do. If you leave me a comment, if there's something that you need to go over and you're not sure how to approach it from a chemistry perspective, I'll try my best to get something out there to help you out. All right, let's go back. Well, how do you study? Oh, hey, I almost forgot. If you are a New York State Chemistry Region student, you're going to want to stick around till the end. Even if you're in New York State, you're an honors chemistry student, and you know you're going to be seeing region questions, definitely stick around till the end. I think it'll be worth it. All right. Whether you're a high school chemistry student, AP, or just high school, honors, regents, whatever level, or you're a college chem student, you got to start with what you have. Your notes, your tests, textbook, review sheets. Now, for the notes, hopefully you've been taking them all along. You can certainly go over them. You can add to them. If you haven't been taking notes, that could run into a problem. That's where the textbook might come in. You might have to go back over the chapters, especially for college chem. There's always summaries at the end of a chapter I would recommend reading through. And for sure, if you're taking college chem, look at the example problems that are in the chapter where they give you the question and then they show you the worked out solutions. Do them. Of course, test. Redo the test. Not just the ones you got wrong. You might have forgotten the ones you got right. As a matter of fact, when I was in college and I would get ready for a final in a science class and I'd had all my old tests from the semester and I'd go through them, I would panic because all of a sudden I would look at these questions and go, how the heck did I answer this correctly in the first place? I had to go back and relearn everything. Of course, review sheets. If you don't have them, this is what you're going to do. There is no reason you can't make up for what you don't have. You don't have notes? Make some notes. You don't have review sheets? Make some. Find practice questions and problems and do them. And do them over again if you get them wrong. The more you do, the better you're going to be when it comes to whatever midterm you're going to have or cumulative exam or for that matter when you get to the final. Oh yeah, I can't emphasize this enough. Studying for chemistry is making sure you do practice old test questions. Do the calculations. Don't just stare at them. Work through the problems. Practice, practice, practice. Oh, right. And if you're in Regents Chem or you're in Honors Chem, but you also know you're going to have Regents questions on your test, I have some review sheets I want you to check out with me. This is the homepage of my website, of course, nychemcoach.com. And what I want to show you here is if we scroll down, you're going to see Regents Chemistry Review. If you click on this, and you scroll down again, I have a link for some chemistry notes. But even better than that are these two links, Regents Chem Year in Review and Regents Chem Year in Review Answers. If you click on Regents Chem Year in Review, here it is. I originally typed this and then added some uh, handwritten notes. What you can do for your midterm is just go over the units that you've studied in class. It's very detailed. I go through all of the topics that you need to know for the chemistry regents exam. Now, if you're in honors, for example, like I have honors classes, you need to add the additional stuff like SPDF for atomic structure that's not on here, but you have here a nice foundation, a nice base of great information that you can go over. And then I also wanted to show you, if we go back or we go down here, um, I do give some examples that you can try on your own. And there's answers again. There's the answer PDF that you can take a look at. Check it out. Again, nyhemcoach.com. I wish you luck on your midterm. Keep working hard. Hold on to this or know how to get your hands on this again when it comes to the Regents exam and June. Oh, hey, don't forget to subscribe. One last thing. Chemistry can be overwhelming. You got a lot of information. You got to know and put back in your brain. My advice, just start. Just get started. And again, good luck.